Community is a group of people working together to create something. Community is to so say you're together and have fun. I think community is something we all hope for. I think people want to feel part of something. And I think something like this encourages people to get out of their homes and come and be part of a community. So what does it mean to me? Just friendship. I feel like music is one of the easiest ways to just feel free to join in, work together, dance, sing, and I feel like that brings everyone together. So we've got a real mixture of people in Thetford. There are people who might describe themselves as old Thetfordians. You see their surnames appearing in records all the way back. Then we've got a large number of people that came here after the Second World War to live on the new estates. And some of those people, even two or three generations on, still define themselves as Londoners, even though they live in Thetford. And then we have a really big community from Eastern Europe. So it's really exciting to see all of those uh, communities come together and think about how they see Thetford as their home. Britain Symphonia is a professional chamber orchestra based in Cambridge, working to enrich the cultural lives of communities across the east of England. In market towns such as Thetford, communities will have more limited access to classical music, and we think that music can be an amazing way of bringing people together. Thetford is a wonderful town with a rich history, but we are sort of sandwiched in between some much bigger places here. And I think sometimes we can feel that we're a little bit isolated from some of those things that you get in, in, in larger cities. So for the Britain Symphonia, um, such, a, such a brilliant set of performers to come to us here um, and for children here in Thetford to be able to see what real gold standard quality production looks like, that's, that's so important. So most looking forward to exposing the children to a variety of music. It's not music that they've heard much of and being able to perform, listen to and talk about different types of music will be a really great experience for them. So we've had the visit from Polly and the children have really, really enjoyed it. We've had parents asking about it, children asking when Polly's back and what next instruments we're having. And the staff as well, they've been loving adding different instruments and different songs that we've heard and listen to our like daily routine as well, which is amazing. Over the past few months, we've been working with Diamond Academy, Thetford Academy, the Berry Friendly Orchestra, Thetford Singers, nurseries and community groups and engaging them in creative music making. We started in November with an intensive four day period in the town where the whole orchestra came and we delivered concerts in schools, nurseries and performances in care homes and community groups to really establish what we could achieve with the community in Thetford. The orchestra returned in January and over a period of around five weeks we worked with workshop leaders Polly Ives and Raf Clarkson to create new music and to prepare a program program that we would then perform as part of a culmination at the Carnegie. I haven't really been up and close with a lot of musical instruments. So even for, for staff, it's been, yeah, it's been really, 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 really fantastic. We try to have music within the rooms. We use like technology usually. It's not often that you would get live music come in at all. So this is really new for us and it's amazing. I'm working on two strands, working with Thetford Academy, and Diamond Academy, and another strand working with groups of older people. And with both groups, we're thinking about folk songs and folk music, and the main thrust of the projects are gonna be creating our own songs. We've been enjoying some singing folk songs, but also creating a, a new song. So uh, thinking about suitable lyrics and a tune, which has been a very interesting experience. Fortunately, we don't need to be really good musicians because people here are really here to guide us. We're just collectively and cohabitively just putting stuff together. Basically, we all talk together, put ideas into the pot, pick on subjects around the town, i.e. the forest, the rivers, the skies. And then one of our members here went away to war. So we used that as well, you know, people going away and coming back in and rebuilding the town. Um, and then we made a song with that in mind. We were in a shared space. We all talked together. It was relaxed, it was equal. And I think with facilitating 
creativity, songwriting with a group, that really comes to the fore. It's about people's agency to say what they feel. And when people realise that, it can be a really powerful, joyful thing. It feels good because you're creating your own piece of music that you can play instead of um, using someone else's music to perform. It's kind of like fun, calming and relaxing to like do it in here with people that actually are like brave and the musicians are really good. I'm actually often more interested in the rehearsals than I am in the final performances because it's in the rehearsals that you see the students talking about it, working things out, solving problems. You know, after they've done those performances, they're so proud of what they've done. I haven't written any songs like this before because I like, when I was little, I used to try and do it, but it never worked out. But this time it has because there's someone to help you. It made me feel happy to have my land used in the song. It's nice to tell the story because Stepford itself has changed so much in 40 years and it's not till you do a project like this that you actually recognise how much it's changed. We're going to be doing some singing with the very friendly orchestra and then playing our piece of music that we made. Looking forward to sharing it and uh, hopefully performing it with a larger kind of orchestra which would be really good. Well, you're going to be performing it in the Carligan place. We are going to try our best and yeah, that's it. The culmination event in March was a fantastic bringing together of all of the work of those communities. Throughout the day, we had six performances in which the people who had taken part in the project could share the music they created with friends and family. It's a very easy way to make friends making music together and so yes we've enjoyed it and it's uh, been nice to meet other people. The children that are not necessarily confident, that are definitely quieter members of the room, um, seeing their faces light up and joining in has been lovely, it's been magic. I've got children coming out of the woodwork telling me how much what they've seen or what they've already done has meant to them and can they be involved more. I felt so moved by the music, just so glad you came. And my sisters feel the same, we feel euphoric. Following the culmination, we met with various partners and members of the community to explore how they would like to develop the residency in the future and some of the aims and ambitions that they'd like to see in their town. We're really looking forward to continue developing this residency and working with the amazing greater community that we've come across in Bedford.